Hello everybody, this is Wolfpack Gaming, and today I'm going to show you a few troubleshooting steps for your RAM. So here, I have 12 gigabytes of RAM, and I know these two Kingstons are good. But these two, I just got out of an older PC. No, not really older, I didn't just get them, but I've had them for a while. So, first, I always drop, this camera zoomed in, drop something like this. Got my PCI, my RAM slots, not PCIe. So, I know that these two slots are Kingston and they work. So I'm gonna mark down a K on them so I know they work. So one and three have Kingston in them. Okay, so let's try to boot up with the new RAM in. So I'll pick up my camera. Yes, there's my ghetto test bench type thing. So this is a yeah, exact for spend for anyone on the snow. And I need to turn on my power supply, because yeah, let's turn that off, that work. If I can find the kill switch, there it is. So let's turn it on. Okay, so we got a little red memory flashlight. With this motherboard, that means one of the dims are bad. So this should turn off and turn back on here soon. So they should, but it's probably gonna boot because I know how this works. Yep, there it goes. So I'm cycle like power supply. Just so I don't have to reset it. Okay, so now try to put it back. It's back into angle. Maybe. Come on. Thank you. Okay. So I'm gonna put my anti sag wrist pin. This is a really cool one because it just connects to your PC. So now I'm gonna start taking out each stick of RAM. And I'm gonna label them A and B. Ignore how bad the wiring job is in this. It was just since I was doing some testing stuff. All right. So here we have B. Don't know if you can read that. Focus. Focus. Okay, that's probably right. And here we have A. It's a little easier to see. So, put A. And RAM slot 2. So, take out my heat frame. Okay. So that's in RAM slot 2. So now, let's see what happens. So, cycle the power supply. Always remember to turn your, turn your power supplies. Yeah. Turn it on. Oh, we got a little light. Hey, my fans went down. It should boot, hopefully. Yeah, Asus. Yeah, yeah, American Mega Trends. So I turn it back off. Let's like the power supply. So now, when I come back to my paper, when I set this back down, when I come back to my paper on RAM channel two. I'm going to put an A for that dim. So, very sloppy A, but it'll work for now. And then now I'm going to try and ram slot four, and that's what the bottom bit is for. Put this back in frame really quick. And I'll unloosen my camera from my tripod. There we go. Now this one's going to be a little annoying because it's right next to my heatsink, which I don't like. But hey, it's an older motherboard. It doesn't have the lots of slots. Okay, so push down. So that's in. Okay, so cycle your power supply. Always remember to do that. On zoom. Still getting used to this camera, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, I think one of my slots are bad. No, no, it went off. Okay, those went down. Nope. I think my RAM slot's bad. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, wait. 
Maybe. Hey! That is good. Wow. I'm just gonna put an A here while looking over the camera. That one's good. Alright. Oh, it's booting into this. Uh-oh. Okay. Just turn it off. Thank you. Okay, now. Let's back set up. Now we're gonna do RAM dim B. Would like to focus? Please, thank you. Wait, yeah, there it goes. So it took A out. Now putting in B. So always in RAM slot one or two. This is number two. Okay, so let's cycle. That clicking is my tripod because again I'm not used to it. I just turned off my power supply because I didn't turn it off last time. Nice. Okay. Oh, oh. I thought that dim was bad for a second. Hey! Turn it off. Okay. So. B works in channel two, so I'm gonna put a B there. Okay, now I'm gonna move it to channel four. Oh, this came off. Now one of these isn't required, I just like to use it for peace of mind. Peace of mind, you can just ground yourself on your power supply. That's in. Okay, so this is slot B filled. Or not slot B. Slot four filled with RAM stick B. Okay, I don't know why this wasn't booting last time, but you know, of course it's gonna work on camera. Yeah, there we go. Mega, mega trend. Wait, what'd that say? I don't know. So B does work in there. So we'll put B here. So now I'm gonna put RAM stick A in here. So this motherboard is completely capable of like 32 gigs of RAM, so I don't know why this wouldn't be working with 12. But you know, whatever. Make sure your RAM is also always having, don't drop your RAM, especially not in your case. Nice. Okay. Key right here to the little notch. Okay. Put those in. And of course, it's going to work on camera because this didn't work when I was testing it before. You know, that's just how this works. Oh, wow. Of course it's gonna work. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Yeah, 12 megs of, or 12 gigs of RAM. Wow. So, that's how that's how you troubleshoot. That's at least how I troubleshoot. That's troubleshooting RAM. For my video card, I have a complete second, second video card that I keep in my room. Hard drive is hard drive. These I have a tester for. Yeah, so. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Have a wonderful day.